appreciate that. Yeah, obviously, I mean, there's a number of um, arguments that are put up um, against age verification and age estimation by opponents. And one of them is, oh, well, with AI, uh, you know, it's all pointless. Anything can be faked. You can fake an image of a person. You can fake an image of an ID. Um, but the technology is clever and you can use AI to spot AI. In fact, we have a joint project with the Swiss and with um, privately who are going to speak later and Tony's company, uh, uh, IDIAP, which is a, uh, a, a group of academics who are very smart about these things, where we've actually been funded by the Swiss and the UK governments to find ways to use AI to spot AI. And that'll be quite an exciting um, announcement when we get to the conclusion of that. Uh, but we are not worried. We are not seeing widespread evasion of our techniques. Um, next up is Omari Rodney from Yoti. Omari is going to be joining us remotely. Omari, I may need to move the slides on for you, I think. So if you could just say next slide when you wish to. But otherwise, um, you're going to talk to us about facial age estimation. So over to you. Uh, yeah, I just want to make sure you, you can hear me. I'm clear. Oh, clear. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so hi, I'm Amari Rodney. I'm the Chief Product Engineer at Yoti. Um, I'll be talking to you about facial age estimation. Uh, next slide, please. Great. So facial age estimation is an age assurance technique. It's been used across the world today. Um, it gives consumers an accessible, fast, privacy-preserving way to prove their age. And it doesn't uh, matter what their gender, ethnicity, financials um, are. Everyone's got a face. Everybody can use it. Next slide, please. So the process is really simple. All a person needs is access to a device with a camera and their own face. They can look into the camera and then using the same behavior as unlocking their smartphone or their laptop. Their face is immediately analyzed. Uh, we estimate the age, their image is deleted, and the estimated age result is returned. Uh, next slide, please. The results most commonly returned are an age over or age under. So for example, we frequently see the results being returned as either ages over 21 or over 18, um, or there's the option to have an age under. So it could be this person is under the age of 16. Uh, what this means is that an age can be provided without revealing the real age or any additional information about the person who has had their age estimated. Next slide, please. So an age estimation on average takes around one to two seconds. It's really quick. The images are not stored. They're not shared with the relying parties. They're not checked against any pre-existing databases. So there's no uh, need to be concerned about things like hard or soft linking of somebody's behavior to any unrelated activities. There's no biometric templates generated from the images. The process is instant and it is anonymous. Before generating a result, a NIST level two passive liveness test is run against the face capture. So this is to ensure that the face being estimated is a real live person. And it's not a video, it's not a picture of somebody else, it's not a 3D printed mask, or there hasn't been any manipulation of the hardware or input device. So in effect, people aren't trying to deep fake their, their way through the system. This can all be integrated through a flexible API bringing the security and power of an anonymous age estimation into any website, app, or even a physical sales terminal. We've performed over 600 million age checks across all over the world, across a range of sectors. For example, we're operating in the adult industry, retail and gaming, telecoms, some of the largest social networks, dating and gaming. This technique is also used by law enforcement to assess the ages of uh, victims and perpetrators in CSAM and to support charities in the help of removal of non-consensual content from platforms. Next slide, please. So I just wanna go through a bit about how Instagram through Meta are using age estimation today. So with an Instagram account, when somebody changes their date of birth from below 18 to over 18, so perhaps there's a part of Instagram or Meta that they want to want to access that is age restricted, they're asked to prove their age. 
Yota's age estimation is used to analyze the face of the person, perform a liveness check, and to confirm if the user is over 18. Yota immediately deletes the image and returns the confirmation that the user is an adult or not back to, back to Meta. This has proven to be a highly popular method. When compared to the offer of uploading an ID document, 81% of users have preferred to go down the route of an age estimation. Next slide, please. So I'm just going to cover a bit about how this works. Um, so it's a simple four-step process. So in the first step, we detect the face, and we turn that face into pixels and turn those pixels into a sequence of numbers. On the second step, using a neural network trained to recognize age by practicing with the dice first set of millions of faces, those numbers are crunched and analyzed. And then in the third step, the AI finds patterns in the numbers and produces an age. And the fourth and final step, the image provided is deleted. Next slide, please. To build up this AI, the amount of data required is extensive. It's really, really hard to get hold of good data. It's really, really, really hard to get hold of good data in an ethical way. We spent a long time working with our globally available digital ID app to acquire data with our user's permission. During the onboarding process, they are explained how their data may be used. They're given an opt out. And at any point in time, they can always revoke the use of their data. Next slide, please. So over the years of developing this technology, we have been constantly testing and assessing how age estimation works and how effective it is across different ethnicities, across different genders, across different age ranges. And what you can see now is a table of how accurate age estimation is based on a specific age with a target threshold. And this is often used as a way of ensuring that even though an age estimation is just an age estimation, we can reduce the effective probability of somebody being estimated in the wrong age group to 0%. The benefits of this work over the, the last few years is that it now produces a set of repeatable and measurable processes and data that can show how effective age estimation can be in the real world. Next slide, please. Age estimation can be deployed in many ways, and it can provide low to high assurance. To reach a low level of assurance, we'd recommend that at least a liveness check is performed. That just ensures that the person being estimated is in front of the camera. To get to medium, we'd suggest that you have a liveness check with age estimation and independent testing so that any partner or line party has a sense of credibility that the checks that are being performed are being performed to a high degree of accuracy. And we recommend to reach a high level of assurance along with the liveness check and the independent testing, the age estimation should incorporate a buffer, so a threshold should be set, and there should be injection attack detection to ensure that people are not manipulating the hardware used to perform the age estimation and capture the images. Thank you for listening, and I hope you found this informative. Thanks.